I picked up another 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V, basically for parts of doing our car. A couple things I need inside and out, mostly for the rear corner panel driver side on my daily or whatever. Um, it's a shame because this car isn't actually that bad a shape, but there are some rotted spots beyond repair. Um, this whole roof is shot leaking a little bit on the inside it's not too bad but you can see some rust coming through on the inside but it does fires right up turnkey which is kind of pretty good for you know a, a junkyard car pretty much the guy that i got it from he took it as payment from a job that he did for somebody that didn't have any money so basically gave him the car for payment um car does have a title i forget the mods and maybe I have to show it here. Uh, I think it has like 80,000 miles on it or something. I guess it's not too bad. It was dirty. I cleaned everything. I wiped everything down. Um, vinegar, you know, it was moldy. So I took vinegar to everything and couldn't get everything out. I'm sure, you know, a couple more wipes with it and, you know, a little more elbow grease. But again, just a donor car. So I'm not really going to do too much with it. It might become a lawn ornament. Cut the springs out of it and let it sit on the ground. But um, even like the seats back front, you know, not too bad, especially for like leather. Usually the leather's all beat up and cracked and, you know, all dry rotted. And actually it's not in too bad a shape. But like right there along like the window trim across the back window, you can, you know, you probably won't see it. But um, you can see like a little bit of rust coming through and stuff like that right there. It's kind of like orange. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, but the headliner, you know, isn't that bad a shape. The visors are okay. You know, it has... The vanity on both sides. That one clip's broken on this one. So I can't really use that one. It's nice broken on the other one. Um, hey, somebody who ever had this did care about it a little bit. They put enough to put a radio in it. They did like kicker 6x9s in the, in the uh, dash in the back. The rug's pretty much a mess. I think that I had, this is after vacuuming everything and power washing the car. The car was covered, you know, not for them covered, but I mean, it was pretty moldy inside and out. I mean, the inside wasn't too bad, but a little bit. But um, pretty good rot along the trunk line there, so I can't really use that. But I, another th the good thing that I am getting out of this car is the hood, because there's a spot on my hood that's rotted, so I'm going to swap the hood from this one to the other one. There's a spot there that's rotted underneath the opera window, and then a spot right there above the wheel well. That's my one's all the way through. That's a pretty bad spot. But again, you know, did for you know a thousand dollar junkyard car, and I can you know get more than enough parts out of it.